There are a lot of shortcuts and tips for editing in Premiere, but not all of them can be performed without leaving the comfort of your timeline. Here are five tips for working in the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. Nesting sequences is a great way to apply multiple effects to a clip or project, combine separate sections of a project, or just work with a clean timeline when making adjustments. To do it, select or highlight the clip or section you want to nest, right-click and select Nest. Change the name, then either cut the new sequence on its own or within the bigger project. You can also drag a full sequence onto the New Sequence button in the viewer. This nested sequence is now open to additional effects that couldn't be stacked if it weren't nested. Speed up your edit dramatically and get a full visual display of your footage by stacking or pancaking multiple timelines on top of each other. Just open the sequences you want to access, then pull one on top of the other by dragging the window above or below the other. The standard configuration is to have your selects above your main edit, but choose whatever layout you like best. You can then just move between sequences by grabbing clips to place in your main edit. To take it a step further, drag the sequence you want to pull clips from to the source monitor, Go to the settings wrench and click open sequence and timeline. Then drag the new sequences window like you normally would to your preferred position. Now each sequence has a monitor window and you can perform insert and override edits directly from the window. When you're using the insert and override controls, be sure to set your layers appropriately to avoid accidentally moving or overriding footage. There are times during an edit when you need to move or edit one or more clips without affecting a certain video or audio track with the track or sync lock. The simple solution is to go over to the padlock to the left of your screen and click on it. It will then lock that layer in place, preventing any edits. Sync lock is what keeps tracks moving in sync when there are edits made outside their track. It's on by default. Disabling sync lock allows you to keep clips on selected tracks in a certain place on the timeline as you make edits that move everything else for instance when using insert edits. It also allows you to modify them, unlike a track lock. Time remapping is creatively speeding up or slowing down your footage to emphasize certain sections. This works best when you have higher frame rate footage, so you're getting smooth, slow, and fast motion. Right click on your video's FX badge and go to time remapping speed. Now you have a rubber band that adjusts the clip's speed as you move it up and down. Up is faster, up to 1000%, and down is slower, down to 1%. The clip will become longer or shorter as you drag the rubber band. You can also create keyframes by control or command clicking on the rubber band. Drag the sections between the keyframes to your preferred speed and play it back to see if you like the sudden start and stop of the remapping. If you want to make it more gradual, click and drag the keyframe apart, creating a ramp. You can make it even more gradual by dragging the bezier handles on the blue keyframe between the keyframe handles. Adjustment layers allow you to apply effects to your clip without having to copy and paste across multiple clips or do master clip effects directly on your footage. Create a new adjustment layer by clicking on the New Item button, then place the adjustment layer over everything you want the effect to be applied to. Your adjustment layer can have multiple effects placed on it, and you're able to use multiple layers with different effects applied. You can even add a transform effect to an adjustment layer and then animate it over your video. Once you get acquainted with all the shortcuts and techniques that are possible within the Adobe Premiere Pro timeline, you can start cutting lots of time off your edits and become a more efficient storyteller. Then you can start researching all the tips for other aspects of editing and the time you've saved. So what do you think? What are some of your favorite tips for working in the timeline? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, check out our Adobe Premiere Pro Time Saving Tips video here and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for an in-depth companion piece, as well as other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of video clips and other assets to use in your next project.